In this video, we'll discuss open profiles. Pronest relies heavily on information in CAD files for geometry. Ultimately, the integrity of the CAD file geometry directly relates to the result that you get when the part is imported into Pronest. So far we've discussed importing parts with good geometry into Pronest. Let's take a closer look at a part with good geometry. So open the edit part list. In this examples folder, I'll select BH rectangle. And now let's maximize the preview to get a closer look. Generally, the CAD file should be drawn so that it has a closed exterior profile. It may or may not have interior profiles, but Pronest needs a closed exterior profile to correctly recognize the exterior edges of the part and then make a tool path based on that. So this part has a closed exterior profile. At the corners where two sides meet, those two entities share the same XY point. So if we were to look at this in a CAD editor, I'll use 2D CAD for this. This is the same part. Um, you can see that the two sides share the start and end XY points. So up here, this line segment ends at X5, Y20. And then the intersecting line segment begins at X5, Y20. Now, if the entities that are supposed to intersect don't meet at a single intersection point, there is either missing or extra geometry that Pronest will not know how to handle. Now we'll look at some parts that are drawn incorrectly. Let's exit this preview. So I have some parts that are drawn incorrectly in CAD on purpose. Let's take a look at them now. So I have them in this folder. The first is called Open Profile 0 0.006 Gap. So this part is drawn so that there's a very small gap in the upper right corner. So in the preview, we can see that here. I'll just zoom in on the upper right corner. Okay, and you can see that there's a small gap here. And this is going to cause a problem when this part is imported. Basically, it does not have a closed exterior profile, and these two sides do not intersect. Let's take a look at what happens when it's imported. Okay, the part is imported, but I have some indicators that tells me something's wrong. First of all, this part is not shaded or color filled in the preview. This is because Pronest can't identify the exterior edges. Also, there are some warnings that appear. So in the part list, I see contains open profiles, and then there's a warning here. This tells me that an open profile is detected in the part. There's also a tool I have on right now. Um, this is telling me that there's an open profile here as well. On the view menu, I have open profiles selected. And with this one on, the open profiles in the preview will be surrounded by a small box. So you can see that here. Okay, so what will happen now if I were to output this part? The part is in the part list. I can nest it and output if I want. But I might have some problems when I go to actually cut this part. So first off, Pronest didn't place any leads on this part. This is because Pronest as a rule doesn't place leads on open profile geometry. Curve compensation is also not applied. So because Pronest doesn't know what side of the geometry the curve is supposed to be applied on, it's not applied and the curve compensation codes would be missing from output. Also, the cut direction may be wrong. We don't know if this is intended to be clockwise or counterclockwise, so this profile will have a cut direction, but it may not be what you've intended. Okay, so those are just some of the problems that might happen if you were to output this part right now. What actions can you take to fix it? If this is not intended, you can remove the part from the part list. So just select the part, select remove part. All right. The best practice is probably to fix the file in a CAD editor or in CAD cleanup. So Pronest comes with CAD editors and you can use them to fix the problem in the CAD file. Another thing you can do is to adjust the open profile tolerance. So that's a property that you can set when you're importing CAD files. 
Let's take a look at that now. So this part again has a 0 .006 gap in it. Now on the CAD import tab, I have my open profile tolerance set to 0 .005. This means that anything exceeding that distance will be flagged as an open profile when it's imported. If it's equal to or less than that distance though, and Pronest finds the gap in the profile, it will attempt to close the gap. So let's set this now to 0 .01. Okay, now anything smaller than 0 .01, uh, Pronest will try to close that during import. So if I were to add this part again, the part adds just fine. You can see that leads have been added here, and the gap in the upper right corner is now gone. So this part was imported correctly. All right, there are some other cases where an open profile problem might happen. So let's look at this part here called Open Profile Bad Trim. All right, in this instance, we don't have a gap. We have a line that extends past the intersection point. So this line does not terminate at the intersection point. Instead, it keeps on going. This will cause an open profile problem when the part is imported. In this case, you'd want to trim that geometry in CAD. Okay, also, there's an overlap case where there's two collinear entities, so entities one on top of the other. Let's take a look at that in the preview. Okay, so this top entity, there are two of them drawn, one on top of the other, and that's causing a problem. You couldn't see this with the naked eye, but if we were to bring this into a CAD editor or CAD cleanup, I can select this and then delete it. And you can see that that's deleted and there was an identical entity right underneath it. Um, now if I were to bring this in, it would import with no problem. For CAD files that contain overlapping geometry, there's also a setting that Pronest has to try to detect that and fix it automatically as the part is imported. So you can just select the CAD file. I'll pick this same one here with the overlap in it. And on the CAD import tab, um, just scroll down here and there's a property called delete overlapped entities. That's this one here. With this one selected, when you add the part, Pronest will detect that there are overlapping entities and then delete them as the parts imported. Okay, so the part came in. Um, it has leads and no open profiles. We did get a warning here, but if we take a look at it, it just says all overlap entities removed. That just lets you know that Pronus took care of the problem during import. All right, let's delete this part for now. Okay, so those are just three scenarios where you might get an open profile problem. We do have a utility in Pronest called Advanced Edit. In that one, you can close open profiles manually. I'll run through that really quickly. So let's import this part with a gap in it again, and we'll intentionally bring it in with an open profile. All right, so here's the part. I can bring it into Advanced Edit. This is a part editor within Pronest. All right, and so here's the gap. On the Part menu, select Close Open Profiles. You would click here, and then click again. You want to define the profile type. Okay, and because this is an exterior profile, it will be cut clockwise, and so you'd need a curve left command We'll set that to left, click OK. Um, now that profile has been closed, you can return to nesting and save your changes. And now you can see that the profile is closed and the part will be cut normally. Note that at this point it doesn't have any leads on it. We didn't correct that problem. That's something that you can fix in Pronest also. We'll get into leads later on in the video series. All right, so these are all steps you can take to fix a problem where you have bad geometry, but there may be instances where you want the part to have an open profile. For example, if you have a part that contains a knockout, like an electrical box, the knockout would be an open profile. Another example might be a relief line that's included for bending purposes. In these types of cases, you would intend for the cut to be an open profile. So let's take a look at that now. In this folder, I have a CAD file. That's a drawing of a knockout box. Okay, this contains a lot of interiors that are actually open profiles. 
So these have gaps and they don't form a closed loop. All right, so those will be identified as open profiles when the part's imported. Since this is intended, you can just add the part as you normally would. No other action is necessary. So let's add that. Okay, I still get the warnings notifying me that there's open profiles, but in this case, I'm gonna ignore them. So I can go ahead and nest and then cut the part as I normally would. Be sure to check that the leads, cut direction, and kerf are all applied to the part correctly before the part is output.